Hey, it's Andreas here. Welcome back to my poker channel. In today's video, I'm going to address the Martin Cabral situation. I want to quickly talk about one argument that was made against the critics of him, and that is that it's just poker. And in my opinion, that's bullshit because there are so many things that you can do at a poker table to uh, make a read. You can shuffle your chips, you can take your time. And uh, you can trash talk your opponent, you can ask questions, there's just so many things. You can observe the hands, um, the betting, um, there's just so many factors that you can uh, use in order to make better decisions. You don't need more than those. You just, that's, at some point it's really enough and there has to be a line um, for poker to keep the game fair because if we don't have those boundaries, then people will continuously push those boundaries and then uh, come up with new stuff exactly the way that Martin Cabral is acting at the poker table. And um, I don't think that the majority of people um, care so much about his antics in order to uh, then um, ban him. No, it's more about this uh, pretending to be cheating thing, to put the fear in people's heads that you're actually cheating them and uh, use that psychologically against them. That's like somebody made a comparison um, to a bomb threat. Yeah, and that's that's kind of a, a legitimate analogy in my opinion, you know. Cannot just, uh, like, not everything should be allowed in poker. Uh, I mean, there just has to be a line and I think that Martin Cabral has definitely overstepped there. You know, if you're starting to use your nails on cards that you can see on the stream, if you're starting to lean over your opponent's cards to pretend that you know that some of them are marked, maybe the aces. That's just an advantage that we should give to nobody, you know. Um, I, I think and also that it's mostly very, very entitled people. And that's not to say that I haven't felt entitlement in my poker career. I definitely have. I have that so-called, you know, like maybe winner's entitlement because I've been winning at poker over years. And that's like the kind of entitlement that I have felt. Um, but the most entitled people in poker are the ones that feel like they should have these extra weapons, you know. They should be able to step through all the boundaries that there are. They even feel like they should be able to talk in multi-way spots in order to, you know, manipulate an opponent into calling or raising so that the third player suffers a disadvantage, even though that's strictly against the rules. And sometimes they even get away with that kind of behavior. And it's exactly when you or we as a poker community need competent floor uh, staff to basically uh, shut down these uh, ideas of, of these entitled players like Martin Cabral who just think they can do whatever to gain an additional edge that they don't really need. There's so much you can do uh, with uh, that I said at the beginning, plus you can play actually good poker, you know, let's not forget about that and, and try to win through that. So you don't need those things. And then if we don't stop that, then more and more people will start doing it and poker will become a very unfair game. It will become slower and uh, it will eventually make some players stop as not just professionals, but a lot of players have not wanted to play with Martin Gabriel anymore. And yeah, maybe some of them are saying that because they cannot handle his speech play or whatever you want to call it. So, But there's also some others who just don't want to be threatened uh, with, uh, you know, somebody pretending to be a cheater. Or, you know, and that's the thing. He could even still be cheating. You know, that's not something that you can definitely rule out. So in order to keep the games as clean as possible, you want people not to pretend that they're cheating so that whenever you spot those cheating elements or cheating suspicion, that you know it's because someone might be cheating and not because someone pretends um, you know, to be cheating. Because otherwise you just have this uh, mix of cheating signals and then you have to discern, well, is this guy just pretending to be cheating? And that's ridiculous. I mean, let's, let's be honest here. And um, yeah, that's basically my two cents on this topic. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did. And then I'm going to see you in the next one.